Good day everyone, it's me, Teacher Ray. Let us learn mathematics easy and fun. Quarter 2, Week 2, Mathematics 4. Objectives. Find the common factors and the greatest common factor. GCF of two numbers using the following methods. Listing, prime factorization, and continuous division. Second, find the common multiples and at least common multiple LCM of two numbers using the following methods. Listing, prime factorization, and continuous division. Mathematics 4, Number Sense, Second Quarter, Week 2, 67. Let us review skip counting by 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. You can pause the video while reciting the skip counting. Review. Give me my babies. Think of a numbers that will complete the equation. What are the factors of 32? I will give you 10 seconds. Okay, time's up. Let us answer. We have 8 times 4, 16 times 2, and 32 times 1. Let us unlock the meaning of some words in our lesson. First is multiples. When we say multiples, you are going to skip counting up a number. Factors. These are the numbers multiplied to get a product. Common factors. It means that factors that are all common in two or more numbers. Mga bata, ibig sabihin ng common factors, magkapareho ang kanilang factors. GCF, greatest common factors. LCM, least common multiple. And prime factors, it is a method used to break down a given number into a product of prime numbers. Ibig sabihin, mga bata, pag sinabing prime factors, ang gagawin po sa number ay ibibreak down hanggang sa maging wala na siyang factor, kundi ang sarili na lamang niya at 1. Listing method. When we say listing method, you're going to list all the factors of the given number. For example, we have 32. What are the factors of 32? We have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. How about 16? List all the factors of 16. We have 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. And now, from the, co from the factors we have, get the common factors. Again, when we say common factors, those are the numbers that are the same. Ibig sabihin, magkapareho sila doon sa mga factors ng given. So, ang magkapareho sa given natin ay 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Those are the common factors of 32 and 16. And now, the greatest common factor of 32 and 16 is 16. When we say GCF, 
greatest common factor. Pinakamalaki na magkapareho sila na factor. So, 16. Another step is using factor 3. So, we have 60. Get the factors of 60. We have 6 times 10. 60 times 1. 12 times 5. 30 times 2. 20 times 3. And 30. Get the factors of 30. List all the factors of 30. We have 10 times 3, 1 times 30, 5 times 6, and 2 times 15. Now get the common factors. We have 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Kuhanin ang magkaparehong factor sa 60 at sa 30. And then, identify the GCF of 60 and 30. Alin ang pinakamalaking factor na meron ang 30 at ang 60? So, the GCF of 60 and 30 is 30. Another method is using continuous division. Using continuous division, we have example 40 and 30. Think of a number that you're going to divide both in 40 and 30. So divided by 2 equals 40 divided by 2, 20. 30 divided by 2, 15. So, in using continuous division, you need to think a number na parehas mo silang magagamit sa parehas na given. For example, yung 2, ginamit mo siya, pwede siyang i-divide sa 40 at pwede siyang i-divide sa 30. Next, sa 20 and 15, Anong number ang pwede mong i-divide sa dalawa? So, we have 5. 20 divided by 5, 4. 15 divided by 5, ay 3. Since si 4 and 3 have no common factor except 1, therefore, you need to stop here. Ibig sabihin, si 4 at si 3 ay wala ka nang pwedeng i-divide sa kanilang dalawa. Except 1. So, since 1 na yung natitira na pwede mong gamitin, titikil ka na doon. Next is, you need to multiply 2 and 5. 2 times 5, 10. Therefore, the GCF of 40 and 30 is 10. Now, let us have this example. Give the common factors and at least 3 multiples. Ibig sabihin mga bata, ang gagawin nyo ay kukuhanin nyo ang common factors at ibibigay nyo ang at least 3 multiples. So, our example here is 15 and 20. First, we need to get the factors of 15 and 20. 20. The factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, 15. And the factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, and 10. The common factors are 1 and 5. That's it. Get the common factors. Next is the multiples. Again, when we say multiples, when we say multiples, you need to get skip counting. So we have 15, 30, 45, and 20, 20, 40, and 120. So we are asking about three multiples. So that three multiples 
is 15, 30, 45. For 20, we have 20, 40, and 120. For your learning task 1, page 16, find the common factors and at least first three possible multiples of each number using any of the methods. Write your answer in your paper. Next, find the LCM of 18, 24, 36 using the different methods. So a while ago, we discussed the GCF, the greatest common factor. This time is the LCM. Least, ibig sabihin, pinaka mababa. Common multiples, magkapareho ng multiples. Again, multiples, we will use escape counting. So the multiples of 18 are 18, 36, 54, 72, 90, 108, 126, 144, 162. And the multiples of 24 are 24, 48, 72, 96, 120, 144, 168, 192, 216. The multiples of 36 are 36, 72, 108, 144, 180, 216, 252, 288, 324. As you can see, to get the LCM of the given number, we will use skip counting or multiply by 1, multiply by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. Until you get the common multiples. So the common multiples of 18, 24, and 36 are 72. Ibig sabihin, saan sila nagkakapareho? So pare-parehas yung tatlong number na may 72 and 144. The smallest among all of these common multiples is 72. Ibig sabihin, alin ang pinakamaliit? Alin ang mas maliit sa 72 at 144? So, 72 is the least common multiple or the LCM of 18, 24, and 36. The next method is using factor 3. Factor 3, so we have 18. Ibi break down natin siya para maging prime factor na siya. So 18, we have 2 times 3 times 3. 24, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. In 36, we have 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. This time, mga bata, pagtapat-tapatin, kailangan ay magkakatapat ang magkakaparehas na sagot. So, kung mapapansin nyo, in our given 18, 24, 36, we have the same 3 twos. 2, 3, and 3. So, isang beses nyo lang gagamitin. So, since magkakapareho sila, doon sa number natin, sa 18, 24, 36, may tatlong 2 doon sa first, dalawang 2 sa second, isang 2 sa third, tatlong 3 sa fourth, and 2 na 3 sa last, multiply all of them. So, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 equals 72. So, the LCM of 18, 24, 36 is equal to 72. The last method is continu continuous division. So, we have 18, 24, 36 divided by 2. We have 9, 24 divided by 2 is 12. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 9, 12, and 18 is divisible by 3. So, we will use 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 18 divided by 3 is 6. Since 4 and 6 have still common factor 2, continues the process 
and until any of the number have no common factor except 1. Carry down 3 to the next line. Dahil mga bata, ang 3 ay wala na siyang, hindi na siya pwedeng i-divide. So, i-bring down na natin si 3. 4 at 6 na lang ang i-divide natin kay 2. 4 divided by 2 ay 2. 6 divided by 2 ay 3. Since 3 ay uh, 1 na lang siya, i-divide na lang natin siya sa 3. And 2, hindi na rin siya pwedeng i-divide sa 3, bi-bring down na lang natin siya. 3 divided by 3 ay 1. So, sabi nga, 4 and 6 have still common factor 2. Since meron pa silang magkaparehas na factor, i-divide na natin siya. Yung nasa baba niya ay dalawang 3 na pwede pang i-divide sa 3. So, i-divide pa natin siya sa 3 hanggang sa maging 1 na lang. No? And then, 2, yung nasa gilid na 2, 3, 2, 3, yun po yung gagamitin natin na imumultiply natin at yung nasa ilalim na 2 para makuha natin si 72. Let us find the GCF and LCM of number using any of the methods. So, 15 and 10. Let us find the factors of 15. 1, 3, 5, 15. And the factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. The common factors of 15 and 10, we have 1 and 5. So the GCF, or the greatest common factor, yung mas malaki dun sa dalawa, is 5. When we say multiples, we're going to skip counting. 15, 30, 45, 60. 10, 20, 30. Take note, children. Kapag nakita nyo na yung magkapareha sila na mababa, pwede na kayong mag-stop. So, since gusto ko pa siyang ituloy, so 40, 50, 60. Common multiples, ibig sabihin magkapareho sila sa 30 and 60. The least common multiple is 30. Learning task 2, page 16. Find the GCF and LCM of each number using any of the methods. Write your answer in your paper. These are the given numbers. You're going to get the GCF and LCM. Follow the pattern that I used a while ago in my example. Thank you for listening, kids. I hope you learned something new. At sa mga hindi pa nakaka-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel, pwede kayong mag-subscribe para maging updated kayo sa mga videos in mathematics na i-upload ko. See you next week! Bye!